Greetings! Welcome to the devlog for hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. We're going to start off as always with a quick sound check. Make sure speakers aren't up too high. Wonderful. So what have we got for you? Well, this Tuesday, we've got part two of our Meat Miss Roundup, where we take a look at all of the fun new toys that have been added this past week in our Advent boxes and uh, talk a little bit about them. So let's go ahead and jump over to the first one. Do 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 do. Here we go, day fives. And we have ourselves the Agram 2000. This is by uh, Sebastian uh, Ushkowski. I, I, I hope I'm not butchering your last name, uh, Sebastian. But this is a uh, actually, I think, the most modern open bolt uh, weapon that is now in the game. I'm going to plug in a 16 rounder for it. It's 9 by 19. This is from uh, Croatia. And it's actually built on, my understanding is that this is basically the uh, Beretta M12 um, with a different housing, a uh, faster rate of fire. Uh, let's wrap this over full auto, give it a shot. Oh, that is semi. Pop that there. No stock on this, so it is not the most controllable thing, but there is a stock mount on it uh, if you want to throw one of those attachments on. Let's see if we can manage to hit something with it. There we go. It's the fire more bullets approach. There you have it. So there is our open bolt Agram 2000. Looks like a space gun. Just love it. Love it. Beautiful work, and thanks to Sebastian. Next up. Do, 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 do. Yay! Courtesy of uh, Patrick Sutton, an artist who uh, not only has done a majority of our firearm sound in the game, but a whole bunch of its gorgeous weapons, we have our first gun from that is uh, it's Chinese. It's the QBZ-95, the original version of it. As you can see, it is a, uh, it's a bullpup rifle. We have our charging handle up here. Yet another one that kind of has that feeling of being sort of a space gun, especially with some of these angles here. And uh, this uh, this one was a bit of a challenge for some folk, because um, when we click left on the uh, touchpad or joystick, nothing happens. And that's because the charging uh, switch, I'm sorry, not charging, fire selector, is all the way back here. So we set that up back there. Actually got a pretty nice iron on this. It's our, starts on full auto. And actually hit something with it. There we go. Fairly fast rate of fire. You can also pop that onto semi for a little more control. Oh, I am out. Pull that out of there. Grab our other mag here. A few more shots. There we go. Cool platform. Pop the brass out back there. So there you have it. That is our QBZ 95. Space gun. Thanks a ton, Patrick. On to our next one. Do, 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 do. Here we go. This one here, we have an absolute monster, monster of a gun. This is uh, this is from uh, the uh, the USSR. This is the KS twenty three, and it is this the, the, this this is this borderline sci fi shotgun territory. I uh, I joke around and say this reminds me of something that you'd expect in uh in something like Warhammer. It's just huge. This is firing 
23 by 75 millimeter R. Let's pull out our, uh, I believe this is our slug, I think, our barricade shell. So this has four options. It has a steel slug that is just ridiculously powerful. Let's see if we can actually hit something with it here. Boom, got it. Like so, we've got, let's see, which one is this? This is our buckshot, which is supposed to be effective only out to about 25 meters, but I bet we can, let's see if we can hit something with it. Oh, guess not. Has a lot of projectiles, but that's pretty far away. And it's got two fairly exotic shells for it. We've got, let's see which one this is. We've got a, uh, a CS gas shell, which is great for a breaking line of sight with bots. And we've got one that's basically like a flash grenade. Boom! Super fun. It's a three plus one. So we can actually put in here. This makes a great backup actually for just uh, suppressing a whole bunch of bots at once. If they're coming towards you, you can just unload on them. With those flash cartridges. I think I actually prematurely ejected one before firing. Anyway, so there you have it. This one is brought to us by uh, Saint Sellotape and it is seriously, you, you might not get exactly how big this feels looking at it on a screen, but in VR, it just feels so bulky and huge. I love it. Alrighty, let's throw those back in there. Moving on to the next one. Do -do 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 ah, here we go, number eight. Wonderful. Courtesy of Stefan, we have a true classic here. That's right, we have the the OG, the original, the MP18, the uh, the father of the submachine gun. Um, and with it, this ridiculous snail magazine that is a little difficult to load, that comes in via the side. Isn't that just delightfully unusual? Not so much a space gun as a like, did someone really think this was a good idea? Let's line up, get some shots off. Wonderful. Just look at that. So yeah, so this basically takes in the Luger's drum magazine, but as you can see, there's a little bit of an adapter that's wrapped around it. And this was actually to prevent you over inserting the magazine as well, considering that this is an open bolt, there's really nothing stopping you from doing so in there. So an unusual piece. We've got our, our, our safety latch there. That's the only safety this has got. Uh, yeah, just classic old school primitive, but I'm sure uh, in its era was uh, quite surprising and a little bit terrifying. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Stefan, for this beautiful piece and truly a, a piece of history. On to the next one. Ooh, doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, number nine. Yeah, I probably got some on me. We've got ourselves another piece of history here, courtesy of uh, Romanescu and also our first uh, Italian firearm of this era. We have the Carcano 1891. Let me make sure I get, yep, 1891. So this one's fascinating in that it is a, uh, it's a bolt action rifle but it takes its own type of end block clip that actually ejects out of the bottom when you chamber the last round in it. So let's pop this in in the top here, close our breech. Let's take some shots. Here, let's line that up. Oh, missed, come on Anton. There we go. Boom! 
There we go. We're making, redeeming ourselves here a bit. Oh, maybe not. Well, let's see. I think this is the one where it will eject. Yep. Boop. And there it pops out. So we still got a round. We just chambered the last round, but that's how it, uh, it auto ejects its clips. Fun little piece of history and a demonstration of Anton being unable to aim. Let's try this a little faster. Doing so, so poorly. Ah, irons on this aren't the best. At least that's what I'm gonna blame. Boom, at least got one with our last shot. So there you have it, the Carcano 1891 in service for a very long period of time and another fascinating historical addition from the Kingdom of Italy uh, added to our collection. On to number 10! Do 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 do, get a little tired running around this scene. Here we go, number 10! I hope you're getting as tired of my dancing as I am of dancing. So here we have for day number 10, a little bit of a varmint pistol. This is a PMR 30. It fires a uh, new cartridge for the game. This is a 22 Win Mag. It is uh, brought to us by Saint Sellotape. We've got a, got a safety on there. Um, and, as a, and what's cool is this is a very high capacity uh, handgun because 22 uh, Win Mag is a uh, not too girthy, so we can fit that double stack in uh, 30 rounds. So this is basically like the perfect plinkin' pistol in the game. Um, really, really clear glow sights. Makes for just great target shooting. Don't have to reload too often. I'm shooting high or low? What's going on? There we go. So yeah. Has a little more pep to it than a 22 LR, but not so much that it becomes uncontrollable. Quite fun to use. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Glad that it has as many rounds uh, as it is with uh, how poorly I am shooting today. So yes, yeah, so this is a more modern piece. It's got a, it's got a rail mount on it and everything. Really low profile love those sights work great in basically every scene so there you have it hope you enjoy it thanks again to saint sellotype for this really fun toy moving on to number 11 our final one for this video do 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 here we go number 11 And we've got an interesting piece, which I had never heard of before until finding this model. It's super recent, comes to us uh, from the Ukraine. Uh, this is by Vados Respect, and this is the Maliuk. It is basically a bullpup uh, AKM. Load in the rear there, super fascinating. We've got a charging handle up here that's non-reciprocating. We have a cross bolt safety that we use to bring it from safe to fire and then we still have like the AKM switch in the back which instead of serving as a safety brings us from full to semi-auto and back again. I didn't spawn myself an optic with this so this will be just more of Anton not hitting things probably. There we go. That isn't too bad. Spoke too soon. Boom! So there you have it. That is the Maliuk. Another one that's just like, falls in the category of looking a bit like a space gun. Super fun, real compact. Yeah, it's gonna be fun to run, especially with a suppressor on it. It still won't be terribly long. 
So thanks to Vados for this really unique piece that, uh, honest to goodness, I, uh, is doesn't, you know, you know a gun is either obscure or new when it doesn't even have a Wikipedia page yet. So there you have it. That is the Maliuk. Well, thanks for hanging out with me here and uh, taking a look at all of our fun presents for this week. I, I hope those of you who are following along uh, each day as well aren't too annoyed with the daily uh, uh, updates and stuff. I've been trying to keep them as small as possible, but every now and again I have to uh, update the primary firearm package. So yeah, well, I will see you all uh, on stream or in Friday's uh, devlog where we're going to be showing off yet another added mode to the uh, Kappa Coliseum. I will see you all then. Peace.